Hello, everybody. It is Mrs. Lowe coming back to you to read another book. I've got a super funny book today. It is called Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed. That sounds pretty funny, doesn't it? This is by Mo Willems. That's the author. And you know what? He writes the elephant and piggy books. And I know that you like those books. So I picked this book today because we're gonna talk about being open-minded. And being open-minded means that somebody else may think differently than we do, and that's okay. So Naked Mole Rat is gonna think a little bit differently than his friends, and we're gonna find out if that's okay, if he and his friends are being open-minded or not. So Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed. There is so much to learn about the fascinating little creatures known as naked mole rats. But for this story, you, need to only, you only need to know three things. They are a little bit rat. They are a little bit mole. They are all naked. Well, they were, with one exception. <coughs> Wilbur, the naked mole rat who liked to get dressed. Look at him with his tie and his shirt and his pants. He says, hello. When the other naked mole rats saw him, they said, ew, yuck, what are you doing? doing? They're not being very open-minded, are they? Sounds like they're kind of making fun of him. That's not very nice. I like clothes, replied Wilbur. When I get dressed, I can be fancy or funny or cool or I can just be an astronaut. When the others heard that, they said, ew, yuck. If you like clothes so much, then why don't you open a store or something? I wonder how they're making him feel. Naked mole rats can be very sarcastic. But Wilbur thought that was a great idea. Wilbur's being open-minded. He's thinking, hmm, I like clothes, so maybe I should open a clothing store. The other naked mole rats did not. They're not being very open-minded. They're carrying him away. They brought Wilbur to a giant portrait. A portrait is a picture of Grand Pa the oldest, greatest, and most naked, naked mole rat ever. Look at that picture, they demanded. Look at his heroic face. Look at his regal bearing. Look at his total lack of clothing. Grandpa did look heroic. Grandpa did look regal. But he would also look heroic and regal in a casual shirt and some summer slacks. Ugh, said the other naked mole rats. Don't you get it? Naked mole rats don't wear clothes. Do you see how the author put those in great big letters? That means he's saying it really loud. Why not? asked Wilbur. Something had to be done. Oh, they look mad. Look at their faces. The naked mole rats marched right over to Grandpa and told him all about Wilbur. And then he asked, why not? They're kind of tattling, aren't they? Hmm. 
Grandpa was very wise. He thought seriously about everything he had heard. Huh. And then he thought some more. Hmm. Finally, he said in a heroic, regal voice, gather the colony, I shall make a proclamation. That's kind of like a statement. He's gonna say something important. When Wilbur heard about Grandpa's proclamation, he knew it was serious. A proclamation, a proclamation, a proclamation. But he had no idea what to wear. And in the end, Wilbur decided to play it safe. I wonder why he's deciding to wear only socks. Hmm, maybe he's partly afraid that Grandpa is going to tell him not to wear clothes. And maybe he's partly afraid that Grandpa is going to say, we will wear clothes. So he's kind of going half and half. He must be nervous. Maybe not safe enough. The others were so busy looking at Wilbur's socks that no one noticed Grandpa enter until he cleared his throat and proclaimed, Fellow naked mole rats, I have never worn clothes until I heard Wilbur's simple question, why not? Why not indeed? Do clothes hurt anyone? No. Are they fun? Well, they may not be for everyone, but this old naked mole rat wishes he had tried getting dressed earlier. And then Grandpa complimented Wilbur on his socks. As fast as his legs could take him, Wilbur rushed home, put on his favorite outfit, and dashed back. How do you think he feels now? What do you think the other rats are going to do? And when he returned, Wilbur discovered he was not alone. Much has been said about that day, but for this story, you only need to know three things. Some of the mole rats were naked, some of the mole rats were clothed. All of the mole rats had a great time. No exceptions. The end. So what did you think? Some of them became very open-minded, didn't they? They decided to wear clothes too, and some of them decided not to. And that's okay. Because we can do what we want to do, as long as it's the right thing to do. And not only that, but look at him, he ended up opening his own clothing store. Pretty funny book, huh? So if you do something like wear something different or eat something different and other people don't understand it, it's okay because they need to be open-minded just like you should be open-minded and think, you know what, even though I might not really agree with what other people say, that's all right. I can still be friends with them. I hope you enjoyed that book, and I hope you have a great afternoon. See you next time.